Hello, welcome to another Open Geospatial uh, tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download watershed boundary dataset from the National Hydrography dataset. If you're not familiar, uh, so the uh, watershed boundary dataset is from uh, the UHGS, National Hydrography, part of the National Hydrography dataset. So basically, this one has, covers the entire US and uh, is it's a hierarchy from hydrological unit two all the way to hydrological unit uh, 16. So if you are working on some hydrological studies, you're working on some um, studies that needs the DM, for example, and sometimes you might want the watershed boundary as your study area so that you can use to retrieve other data set, this tutorial may be useful for you. And traditionally, you have to go to the website, you have to uh, search, and then you download manually. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use DeepMap to download the data automatically for any location in the US. So if you go to the DeepMap uh, website, the left side, click Notebooks, and scroll down to find number 98. So this one uh, shows you step by step how to download data uh, by point, by bounding box, or by the hack ID. The hack ID basically is the hydrological uh, unit or ID. So again, this is eight digits, right? So and from two digits all the way to uh, 16 digits and so if you want to run this one you can uh, click open in collect uh, and then uh, run this one in google collect directly oh by the way so you need the map clipsify so otherwise you might run into errors uh, so this is the one that used to show the data set uh, on google collect and i'm going to run this one locally i, I have downloaded the uh, example and so i've already installed the package so now i can just run it so the first step is to actually down, um, download the watershed boundary by latitude and longitude. And so if you already know the latitude and longitude, you can just provide in here. If you don't, you can also do it this way. You can just create a new map, a leaf map, dot map, and then just um, anywhere in the US. So after that, you can just, uh, for example, I can come here, here, maybe find somewhere, river here. Okay, I'm uh, interested in working on the area, for example, somewhere around here. Then you can just place a marker here on the map. And assume, okay, you are working on the watershed in this area. Then you can just create a new code block. Here you can just type US user RI, M user RI. Then you should be able to get this latitude and longitude. So this would be the uh, longitude, this would be the latitude. Then you can just copy and paste this within your area. So for example, this one. So once you have specified the uh, <coughs> coordinates, the location, then you can just use the leaf map dot get WBD. So the get WBD is get the watershed boundary, and then you passing the geometry. You need also need to specify the uh, hydrological unit uh, digit. So like I said, it has a hierarchy from to 16 so you can pass in number here and whether you want to return as a geometry that means if you want the vector data then you want by default return as a geometry let's run it so, so this is going to use the usgs uh, national map uh, web services take a look so now we have this hydrologic uh, the uh, watershed boundary download it and we're here right so they cover this area pretty nice so you can it can it's up to you like i can change it for example to Hydrological unit, um, let's say 10 or 12, and then you're gonna download a lot more. So let me create a new one. Maybe just copy this one. Here are the differences. So hydrological yeah, unit 12. Oh, it's, right now it's a much smaller one. So you see it's somewhere inside here. So this one is the uh, uh, level eight. It's gonna, gonna contain a lot more hydrological unit 12 uh, here. So this is one way you can download uh, the uh, watershed boundary by point geometry. You can also do it by bounding box. So for example here, if you, uh, if you know what area you're working on, you can simply draw a bounding box. So I can draw a bounding box here. And then uh, the map, I can say user boundary, ally bounds. Then you can get the bounding box. Okay, so this is the mean x, mean, um, mean y x max x uh, x y so this is basically a lower left corner and also the upper right corner and similarly 
you can replace these the coordinates in here and specify this one as bounding box geometry. And after that, you can use the same function get WBD. This one you can pass in a point, a, a, a bounding box, a polygon, or you can pass in some text. So for example, right now I'm use this as a bounding box. So this water shape, for example, I draw a rectangle here. So it covers Las Vegas. We get these two uh, water shape boundaries uh, together. And the last one I'm going to show you is you can actually, if you already know the specific uh, hack ID, then you can also just use the search text. This one shows you, for example, this is hydrological unit eight, and this is the uh, water shape boundary being downloaded. And again, by default, it's eight, but you can specify, for example, 10. This is the same. Um, so if this 10, that means you're going to download all the water set belongs to this one. So this is 10, and this one is eight. So take a look. So this eight encompass all the hydrological uh, unit 10. And similarly, you can go one step further. I can download all the number 12. This is going to get a lot more uh, water shape boundaries. So you, you basically you can depend on the specific requirements. Take a look, so now we have all this data. So it's super easy to do. Uh, you don't have to go online to download. And once you have this uh, geo data frame, then you can save it to a computer. For example, gdf dot uh, to file and you can save this one as a geojson or as a swap file somewhere for example okay so I uh, my 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 GDAO has some uh, problem but this back you see right now I have this watershed and after that you can uh, open using desktop GS you can also add that back to uh ArcGIS uh, uh, uh div map if you want here I have this and then and this will be what I said covering area take a look this will be the all the watershed boundary covering up. So now you know, uh, it's super easy. Uh, one night of call, you can download watershed boundary. Hope you find it useful. I will see you next one. Take care. Bye bye.